folks, Talk with AOK -Okay Foraging and Adventures, and we are ice fishing today. It's 10 degrees with the wind chill, it's around 4, so not too bad. As you saw, I got the shelter all heated up or set up. We'll get the heater in there, and it should be a nice and toasty 50 60 degrees in there, which will be great. My wife had to turn around and go pick up a lost person. So they should be here soon. All right, folks. Let's hope we catch something today. And oh, I brought some beer too. Ha! All right, folks. See you in a bit. Hey, folks. So we are back with my wife who finally got here because, you know, she had to go get that guy that was lost. <laughs> <laughs> and stuck. And stuck in the snow. So we have two beers today that we are going to review from Iowa. And I think we're about done with all the Iowa beers, huh? Yeah. Well, unless we go to the breweries, of course. But anyways, this one is by... Who is this by? Who is this by? Raygun. It's an Indian Pale Ale. And they're made in Coralville, Iowa. Look at that. They're super ice cold right now because we camped last night in the cold and they kind of froze. So, Indian Pale Ale. You want to try it first? Sure. Anyways, we're going to stop over here. How is that? And, uh, not for me. Oh, you. not for her. All right, let me try it. <laughs> is that wheat? <laughs> oh, we did. Mary, here, we got a beer for you. You got a beer for me? Uh, oh. Yeah, it's a little bit too hoppy for us. So. That's Beer to CB82 back at with us again. How'd you Hi, like it? That's uh, definitely an IPA. Yeah. We didn't uh, like it. Yeah, Reagan Indian Pale Ale. That'll uh, that'll do it. Another Iowa beer. And which one is this from? Um, Coralville. Coralville? Oh, it's over by Iowa City. And then we have this other one by New American Beer. It's called White Trash. <laughs> So we've actually tried this one, and it's an American lager. Oh, is it frozen? Is it frozen? Not too bad. Much better. Yeah, much better. <laughs> Let's see, what's your review on that? Yeah. yeah. Definitely much better. Yeah. For us, anyways. Yeah. So... Our setup is still the same as last time, but BJ, BJ has a friend with him this time, and his friend's name is Brandon. Can you believe that? Two Brandons in a red hut. <laughs> Two Brandons in a red hut. I'm hilarious. I'm hilarious. Hey, that uh, beer you gave me? Yeah. It's frozen. Oh. Not this one, the other one. Oh. Well, then try this one. <laughs> Alright, so this was what, the white trash? The white trash, yes it is. Alright, well we'll give this one a try. I hope it's not too frozen. Oh, that's not bad. Right? Yeah. Wow. And there's Brandon over there. <laughs> AKA Chuck. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, that one's real good. There you go. <laughs> Worth it. Great. Well, folks, it's time for lunch. So what we got today are some brats, and we're going to do a catfish fry. We didn't catch it today, but we caught it. Brenda and I caught it a while back, and I just laid them out. So we'll do a fish fry out of that. So we'll be back once I get this uh, fire pit all cleaned out. So, folks, luckily we have a lot of dry kindling here. So I'm Get the stuff that's off the ground so that way it'll catch better. And then I'll start cutting down some of these dead branches once we get the fire going. All right. Well, folks, I got all my little stuff ready back here today. I don't have my regular ferro rod, so I am going to try this cheap UST. Uh, Striker, it's supposed to be able to be one-handed, 
There you go. There it is. Let's see how it sparks. There. All right. And then I have my a little bit of fat wood here and Brenda's kindling thing. I'm hoping that works really well too. She made some cotton and I think it's beeswax or something like that. Or, and I have a little bit of fatwood. But to get it going, to get it going, I do have some cotton and Vaseline. All right. We're going to use a lot because it's freaking cold today and uh, windy. And most of the wood is wet. So let's check this thing out. I'm going to fluff this a little bit. There we go. Hmm. I see the sparks. Look at that. Pretty darn nice. Alright, so since that's going, add Brenda's kindling thing to it. Mm -hmm. Take my sticks. Not bad, not bad. Three strikes, I believe it was. Three, maybe four. Look at that. Not bad at all, folks. So it's the UST. Or is it UTS? I think it's UST. Ultimate survival, whatever. All right, so we got a fire going. Uh, get more wood, get that really going, and then we'll be back to cook some food. You want one of these for that work, or? Yeah. Huh? No. Woo! There we go! There we go! Pine needles and all! Yeah. That'll work. There we go. Thank you. Oh man, that wind just whipped up and... Yeah, it did, didn't it? There we go. Hold on. That bacon plate? Yeah. Can we uh, pick something up where we can use it? Then over there, mm. <laughs> his name's Phoebe. <laughs> hey, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sweetheart. <laughs> More beer, Brian. <laughs> mm. All right. That's really good. Beer. That. Oh yeah. All right, folks. So after lunch, I came running down because I saw Brandon's uh, BJ's uh, tip up had flipped. So whoever pulls it in gets it. And look at what I got. That's right. There we go. Oh, that's a nice fish. Not as nice as uh, Brandon's and Brenda's the other day, but still, I got finally got a fish. Another what? Oh, so Brandon caught a bass. Now you gotta kiss it. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this creeper, man. Woo! Hey, hey. She's the one that let me through the window. Sounds like in that Melissa Etheridge song. Come to my window. You peeping, Tom? What's your point? I don't know. Oh, and she's still recording. Well, yeah. I was re waiting for a response from you. That was better than that, but, you know. Well, you know, we're trying to keep it PG. We're not going to say that word. 
Democrat? Oh, Jesus. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> there goes all my subs. Thanks a lot. And cut. Well, folks, the action's gotten slower. So I think we're going to call it. Yep. Thank you guys for uh, tuning in and watching. At least I got one today, so I'm pretty happy. Tack with AOK -OK Foraging and Adventures with Brenda saying see ya. See ya. Please do not attempt this at home. Yes, that is Brenda pulling your to CB82. Oh. <sighs>